Okay, I'm going to start this video with Bacopa monieri, water hyssop. Um, in the beginning, I started looking for some types of uh, anxiolytic uh, herbs that would help. Um, I generally want to steer away from, you know, having to go to the hospital and having this diagnosed, etc and trying different things. Um, Bacopa, I'll just start right off, is really, really helpful. Uh, it's really calming. There seems to be a decrease in cortisol with its use, an increase in dopamine and a balancing of serotonin, which is what you would want in a stressful or chronic stress situation. Um, I think that um, if you are suffering, and I don't, you know, like to do this kind of like, you know, the world is suffering kind of thing. If you, but if you are, it's legitimately, if you can't calm down, you can't feel safe, you're always worried about things, um, it's worth a try. I wish that uh, they had more like supplements that you could try just one of, but they don't generally have those. Um, I think also it's supposed to help with dendritic growth, so memory as well. So all of those things I was suffering um, or dealing with for a while, it seems to, for me, the biggest benefit was can be calm in times of stress. So when things would normally get me kind of like uppity, you know, like not uppity, um, high strung, uh, this would kind of like blunt that. That's kind of what it felt like to me. Um, I know that there may be some drawbacks of it, but they're not very common. And you should be aware of what they are. And, you know, when you're trying it, um, you know, be sure to stop it if you have any adverse effects. I had to go through a few um, different kind of herbs and off and on it was hit and miss for a while but I think Bacopa monieri for me is one of the more gentle. Um, it's really nice and unless you're, you might notice it even if you weren't, you know, super cognitive of what was going on. Um, anxiolytic, uh, I could remember things better. Um, stuff would happen around me that would be normally very stressful and bothersome and did just waters off a duff's back. I was like, that's fine. All right. I'll take care of that. Um, things that would bother me like, oh, you've got to go overtime. You have to do more work. Um, this paper needs to get redone. Things like that that would normally really stress me out. Didn't. So uh, thank goodness for that. I think there's different dosages. Um, this one is 250. I think there's a 50 milligram dose. Yeah, a milligram. There's a 50 milligram dose. Um, you might want to try different ones starting with the lowest possible dose. Um, again, I suggest the you get a bottle with some friends. It's not expensive, but you know, if it doesn't work for you, you don't want to waste it. Um, try it with your friends and see. Um, there also might be a placebo effect, but I think this is too clear and too great, and I mean large, of an effect, to actually um, be deniable. I've tried to scale back on it a little bit, see what happens. Um, it might take a little while to get out of the system. I had forgotten what the uh, half-life is for the average person, um, all of which you should take with a grain of salt because kind of everybody's different as far as I can tell. Anyways, I don't want this video to get too long. I hope this helps somebody. If it does, please press the like button, uh, subscribe, tell your friends about it. I will make videos every week with the different um, supplements and herbs that I'm taking. All right, have a good day, and I highly recommend it if you want to try it sometime.